Thank you for joining us on this week's edition of DHE K4 News, featuring our trustworthy anchors, Kately Dodd and Maxwell Riser. Good morning, Huskies, and good morning, Maxwell. Today is March 19th, 2018. Good morning, Kaylee. Today is National Laugh Day. I don't know about you, but I love laughing. Today is Annabelle Brock's birthday. Happy birthday, Annabelle. Last week and around the world in 172 days, we were in Tokyo. Tokyo is the capital of Japan and is the most populated metropolitan area in the world. It has 35 million people. I can't imagine living in a city with that many people. Tokyo is also famous for its cherry blossom festivals, and it has the world's highest skywalk at 634 meters tall. This week, we are in a place where the temperature is not too hot, but not too cold. The highest temperature recorded was 36.5 degrees Celsius. This place was less to be settled by humans. Wow, I wonder where it is. Here's Jonathan Huskisson singing All in My Head. I see you with her and it crushes me inside Guess I should stop thinking about you all the time Maybe this is what I need Maybe this is a sign Maybe I've been blind to reality Baby, tell me every little thing that's my way Every time you wanted to hang You seem so interested Could you tell me Was it real or was it all in my head? Was it real or was it all in my head? She's so pretty, you two look so great. Time for me to move on now, it was probably just a silly crush anyway. But I just can't help one thing. That we could have had something. Now that was really good, Jonathan. Have you ever wondered what you can do to help others? Here's our very own Jackson Lair telling about us about his amazing fundraiser. Hey Huskies, it's Max Riser, and I'm here with our very fellow student, Jackson Lair. So Jackson, I heard you started a GoFundMe page for the Missouri Institute of National Sciences. Could you please tell us more about that? Um, yes, uh, so what they are, they're a museum, well, they're a museum here in Springfield, um, and they happen to have two very cool things, uh, they have the biggest Triceratops fossil in the world, and they also have the only fossilized worm in the world. Uh, they also oh, do this thing called Dino Camp and it's very cool you can go but you can sign up, up for it in the summers and it's 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 very fun you learn about dinosaurs i would totally raise money for that dino camp sounds like so much fun that was amazing i can't wait to see how much jackson raises for the missouri institute of natural science yeah here's ari and the science guys let's see what amazing thing they can do for us today Hey, we're Ari and the Science Guys, and today we have a special guest, Miss Teppy's class. And <laughs> they are blindfolded, so they don't know where the camera is, because um, we're going to do another hypothesis, which is a guess or an estimate. They, Our hypothesis is to see we have a potato, a pear, and a apple, and the hypothesis is we do not think that they will be able to tell the difference since they're all look the same and probably taste the same. So they're blindfolded and um, they don't know what they're going to be eating. So the first one is this one. Who goes okay. first? Peyton, open your mouth. Uh, ah. Okay, close it. <laughs> don't say it yet because Luke still hasn't tried it. I'm not. Mm, open your mouth. I mean, this I'm is good. <laughs> <laughs> I think I know what it is. I know what this is. Okay, not don't say it yet. Or, okay. Yeah. 
Say it. Okay, what do you think it is? A pear. I think it's an apple. Okay. This one is next, and we're going to paint and open your mouth. Ah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no. Wait, no. The last one's a pear. The last one's a pear. Okay. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what this is. It's real crunchy. What is it? What do you guys think? Apple. Okay. What do you? The last one was a pear. This one's an apple for sure. Um. Give me another. Okay. Open your mouth. Oh. Yeah. I hate potatoes. It's really crap. It's hard to bite. Okay. Oh. Oh. I can't do it. Oh. 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 <laughs> okay, what do you guys think that was? Potato. I, I do not like potatoes by themselves. Okay, okay, you think that was a potato? Yes, I do. It was. Okay, so take off your blindfolds. You got them all correct. Good job, science guys. So Hey, so our hypothesis was not right at all. So, yeah. Thank you for watching. That's well, amazing. I think these two tasted the they, same. They though. probably did. Mm -hmm. that, this one was a little harder. Mm -hmm. How do you know? You need any. That looks fun. I want to try that. Mr. Z and some of our huskies were re recently featured in a short film. Let's see what Mr. Z has going on an approach on things that they can solve in new and in different ways than they would in the regular classroom. Our I like about it is like you can just put your imagination, you can throw it on the paper. I like that you can be free and creative in what you put down on your piece of paper. I like that I can just grab a piece of paper and start drawing anything. At the elementary level, I think it's so super important to make that human connection first, to let them know, hey, you're on my radar, you're one of my students, I value you and I believe in you. Then they want to invest in me and they're like, okay, what's this art stuff about? Kind of, let's take that journey together. And they, you know, they just get excited and interested in it. Art has to be one of my favorite classes, and Mr. Z makes it so much fun. We have one of our very own Huskies making a special delivery to one of his favorite teachers. Hi Huskies, I'm Kim Patterson and I'm here with Cristiano and we are in the middle of a floral design class. We are planting with a very special type of plant. What kind of plants are we using? Oh. Uh, succulent animals? Yes, we're making succulent animals and we're using a very typical design um, of a, it kind of, this is kind of represents, I brought this in for an example for Cristiano of the design that we're using um, to create, recreate it into this uh, elephant. Uh -huh. We use three type of plants when we do this type of arrangement. We use these tall plants. Yeah. What are they called? Uh Thrillers. Thrillers, that's right. They stand up really tall. And then in the middle, we have the fillers. The fillers. Uh -huh. And then out over the side, filler. and the spillers. So we're going to put that in this pot here. Yeah. Once we're finished, who are we going to give it to? This is Leo. Why are you, why did you pick this Leo? Because, because I like her. And she is what? To um, you. Um, because she's the best teacher. Uh, we can't wait to give it to Miss Leo. Thanks for checking in with us. Bye, Huskies. Tell them bye. 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 And, and you're, I, I like you because and you're the best teacher. <sighs> Christiana, I love it so much. It's like the Ellen elephant. It's like so sweet. Well, that's it, Huskies. Remember to keep your paws up. Have a great week, Huskies, and let's hot up for dinosaurs. Oh! <laughs>
just gotta go and sit all in my head, all in my 